Hello, this is composer and French Warner's Richard Burdick, and today, it's actually pretty darn cold today, Friday, December 2nd, 2022. Uh, last time I looked at the temperature, it was 1240, and it was minus 6 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Cold day today. Um, nice and sunny. No, it's not. It was sunny. This is a think spot. This is think spot number 10. I've been doing these for a year now, about once a month, but not quite where I talk about what I've been doing, what I've been working on, uh, the life as a French horn player and composer, and etc. Lately, I've been exploring my horns. I've been really enjoying playing these unusual horns. This is a um, Crespi single B flat with a stopping valve. So when you stop, all I have to do is press that valve and you don't have to change the fingerings. It's pretty neat. And it's good for some funky low tuning when you need a little bit more than a half step. And then it has the F extension here on the fourth valve. So a scale, like a concert F major scale, goes open, two, three, four, two, three, four, open, two, three, four, two, three, four. I think that's pretty fun. So I enjoy this. I'm gonna do some demo videos of that. Of that, and I just complete and I just completed some demo videos of the Alexander 203 ST prototype. Um, it's an ascending horn, ascending third valve. So the airstream always goes through the third pipe unless you put the valve down. Then it raises the length or shortens the length of the horn, raising the pitch of the horn. The normal valves. This lowers it a half step, this lowers it a whole step, this raises it a whole step. Um, and it has a beautiful dark F horn sound. But it's like hearing a buzz, and there it is. There's a couple of videos on YouTube uh, here. Watch Richard Berta perform his horn solo opus 8, 189D YouTube channel. It's important to me. I'm up to 178 subscribers. Thank you, everybody. Richard Burdick at richardoberdick.nut.com. Um, so that's the horns I've been playing. I have a composer statement. You know, ever since I wrote opus 242, which was a commission by Saskatchewan Honors Board, the mindset uh, for three clarinets, three horns, and three cellos. Very interesting work and very, actually, it became a very beautiful work and I'm very pleased with this one. Um, this one switched me from someone who explores sound and looks for new forms and, and basically a musical or acoustical explorer type composer to I'm really looking for beauty. I wanna hear something beautiful. Um, that's what I ask people these days, like, oh, is that new piece we just played? Was it beautiful? Was it really beautiful? Did they get any beauty, uh, etc.? And a lot of times they don't, um, composers today. Um, so anyway, that's my new leaf, as it were. Um, and I've accomplished it a few times, at least, especially in this work. And currently I'm working on... So Opus 318 is the Handsome Horn Solos, Volume 1, Numbers 1 through 16. I'm going through the whole I Ching cycle, I Ching scale cycle that I've created. That's the book. You can find it on Amazon. I Ching Music, the book, is available on Amazon. That's the commercial. Spaceball is the movie. Oh, the Regina Symphony Orchestra played Mahler 4 last weekend. I had a great time. I think I played flawlessly, except for one mistake, communication, communicating with the assistant horn. I played a note in the rehearsal that I wanted her to play, and I didn't play at a concert. It was just one note. Um, it's not my fault. Yeah, it's my fault. Um, otherwise, terrific performance in Mahler 4 from, by the Regina Symphony Orchestra here in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, where it's minus 6 degrees Fahrenheit today. <sighs> okay, we did the... Oh, okay. So the Opus 242 is available on CD62, a studio recording that I did all myself. Here on Bandcamp, there it is, CD62, the Mindset, non at. It's pretty neat work. 
uh, and beautiful. Um, and then there's the my website web page. And what did I do today? I uploaded another one of my recordings with the Alexander horn. And then I did a studio, studio recording of that same piece, Opus 189. It's called Horn Solo. Very, very, <laughs> very stupid. Um, horn Solo, Opus 189D. Um, it's a fun little piece. I, I wrote it for a demonstration of the French horn for a school uh, back in 2012. And I like it. Uh, it starts low, gets big and loud, has a couple of arpeggios, and finishes low. It's beautiful. I think I achieved beauty in there. So there's that. Uh, in the last few weeks, I've finally released CD 65, Natural Harm Music of Beethoven. It's the quintet for oboe, three horns, and bassoon. He wrote it in 1798, and it finally got published about 17, 1870 or something. Uh, the right guys, I did another version. I did the version, this is Opus 93. There's this is a rare, rare piece by Rika. Uh Two horns and cello or bassoon. This recording has a bassoon, uh, 12 trios, 12 trios for two horns and bassoon, Opus 93, and the Hertel Baroque Sonata of two horns and two bassoons. Uh, it's, you know, it looks really simple. The music looks really simple and it's not, it sounds really neat. It's a good piece. Um, and the Beethoven is awesome, really awesome piece. And there's a beautiful melody in the Rika last moment, amazing melody, like haunting that I remember for days after I hear it. Um, so I like this CD, it took me a long time. Oh, CD 68, let's see if I can get there, see what it looks like. CD 68 is, the recording of Handsome Horn Solos, Opus 318. Um, I wrote these for Natural Horn, and I performed them on Valve Horn for, well, both, for the recording. Um, it's on Bandcamp. Thought I had to fix that link. I'm writing Opus 321, the next volume. So this is, three, 318 is 16 pieces, based on the I Ching scales 1 through 16. Opus 321 will be 17 through 32. Um, I have some of them written and some of them recorded already. I'm enjoying that horn and natural horn and piano music. So I'll, I think I'll get there, all 64 pieces eventually. Uh, you know, I've also made a sort of a declaration. Uh, I've seen for many years the advantages of tuning at A432. And some of my older CDs, like the... Um, Delpra and Galay CDs are actually tuned at 432, the Natural Horn CDs. I've now vowed to release all the CDs tuned at 432. Just look it up. There's a lot of amazing reasons to do that. Better for our health. I'm not going to go there because I'm not the expert, but I believe I'm a believer. And I'm working on finalizing. I have four CDs recorded that are not released yet. Four, and actually five, four, four of them are the, the, um, what's his name? He was first horn for Mahler back in the 1880s. Um, you'll have to wait for that one. Uh, a bunch of really nice 19th century horn quartets and the heater just kicked on because it's so darn cold. So thanks for watching this month's Think Spot, Think Spot number 10, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and live long and prosper.